Triumph has always been known for their style, elegance, and performance. And if you've been watching this channel, it's probably pretty obvious to you that it's among my personal favorite brands out there. Now, one of the most anticipated bikes, or perhaps two of the most anticipated bikes for 2024, is right there in the booth behind me. So let's take an up close and personal look at what the British brand has in store for us. Triumph motorcycles stand out for their exceptional blend of timeless design and cutting-edge performance. Meticulously crafted, each Triumph bike embodies a perfect union of form and function. From classic cruisers to agile sport bikes and even big ADVs, Triumph caters to a diverse range of riders, ensuring there's a perfect match for every enthusiast. Experience the thrill of precision engineering, iconic style, and a ride that transcends the ordinary with Triumph, where excellence meets the open road. The iconic Thruxton, which is my favorite looking Triumph, has been a perfect fusion of retro aesthetics and modern performance. With its cafe racer inspired design, the Thruxton has paid homage to the golden era of motorcycling while integrating advanced technology seamlessly. Its powerful engine, responsive handling, and refined details create a riding experience that's both nostalgic and exhilarating. The Thruxton stands as a symbol of Triumph's commitment to heritage, delivering a timeless blend of style and substance that captivates riders and admirers alike. Sadly, this is the final edition. But it's probably the most gorgeous one yet. The new 2024 Tiger 900, which was officially launched recently, was also on display. The bike has undergone significant improvements, whether in terms of engine, which is 9% more economical, plus in terms of aesthetics and ergonomics as well. But the bikes I was excited to see the most were the smaller displacement MCs, the Speed 400 and the Scrambler 400 both with single-cylinder engines and a pretty affordable price tag. I love modern classics, and the Speed 400 has all the iconic Triumph style and build quality. Honestly, it doesn't look like a 400cc. I thought it would be smaller, but it does look proper. Of course, I've yet to test it on road. I just gotta sit in it for a bit. But it does feel like a proper motorcycle. To the untrained eye, people wouldn't know this was much different from bigger displacement Neo Retros. And people are saying, is it a real Triumph? Well, yes, from where I'm standing and looking at the fit and finish, it's a real Triumph. Sure, it's a joint venture with Bajaj, but so what? That's the way the world works nowadays. I can't wait to get my hands in a test unit and try it out. Now, I don't expect it to be a high-performing MC, but I think it would be a great bike for the city that just so happens to be expressway legal in the Philippines. The Scrambler version of the 400 looks even more like a bigger displacement motorcycle. In fact, I had to double take to make sure it was the 400. I honestly thought it was the 900 I was looking at, at first. I love the styling, I just wish it had spoke wheels. Aside from that, I think this would be the more favorable one for most riders looking for a smaller displacement motorcycle. So let's do a high test. I am 5'6 with a 764 millimeter inseam. And as you can see, I am still tiptoed on the bike. On the Speed 400, I'm a little bit more flat foot. But this is, of course, a little bit more off-road oriented. But this is still pretty good. These two bikes are gonna hit Philippine shores early 2024, and I think they are perfect for people who are starting out in their riding journey, and for people who are looking for a second bike to ride around the city. Now, I can't comment much on the performance of the bikes just yet, but judging from what some friends have told me who have tried them out, I think these are going to be winners, and it's going to bring a lot more fans to the British brand. This was our final installment of our EICMA specials, and I'd like to thank all the manufacturers and brands who helped with these videos the past few weeks. And hope you guys enjoyed seeing what is to come to the Philippine shores in the very near future. From Milan, Italy for EICMA 2023, this has been Gina Rofino.